guys, it's Tamara here from FitNet Chick. I hope you're having a great Wednesday. I'm having a super busy week and I'm calling this vlog today or vlog Work in Progress Wednesday because I'm just going to spend a few minutes telling you about all the crazy things that are going on for me right now and how I'm not really getting anything done. I'm feeling like everything's about half done and before I finish a task there's another one that gets piled on. And uh, anyways, just a quick catch up with where I am fitness wise and otherwise and I've got a few things to show you and share with me. You're going to have to excuse the hat. I just finished teaching and it was a sweaty workout and my hair is a mess. So I'm not usually a hat girl but today no time for a hair wash before I talk to you, okay? Um, first thing I want to show you is I am trying product from GNC Women's Ultra Mega Active Vita Pack. It makes me feel hardcore just to be taking it. Um, I started this this morning actually. It's a 30 day box and it comes in this nice little packet here. It's got everything you need. It's got your multivitamin. It's got calcium. It's got uh, an energy enhancer based on green tea extract. I can always use that energy enhancer and um, CLA, 1000 units of CLA, which is linoleic acid, which is supposed to be really good for you. Have to take my omega-3s along with it as well. So um, I'll let you know how that goes. I'm hoping it's going to pick me up from my mid winter slump give me a little more energy to get through the day. Work in progress is me. Uh, second work in progress is a book I'm reading called Working Out Sucks and I hope you don't think that working out sucks because I certainly don't. The title of the book is a little bit of a misnomer. In fact the subtitle is and why it doesn't have to. Um, I'm loving it so far. I'm only about a chapter in. There's been lots of buzz about this on Twitter and Facebook and some of the other influential ambassadors have been reading and reviewing. So when I finish it, I will be giving you guys the lowdown and uh, hopefully convincing you that working out doesn't suck. Um, what else has been going on? My pull-ups. I'm working on my pull-ups. My back is getting so strong. Uh, with that band, I'm now able to do 10 in my first set, 8 and 8 in my second and my third set. So uh, I'm working towards three sets 12 before I'm going to take that security of the band away. And if you want to see me in action, uh, check out shape.com. There's an article this week. I think it's called Trainers and Their Favorite Moves. I'll give you the link down below. But I'm number 10 with the assisted pull-up band. Um, my burpees. Hey, today we did 33 burpees in my boot camp class. You might have remembered I said something last week about having a little bit of a twinge in that left rear deltoid. I think it's from the deceleration on um, push-up part of the burpee, so I've mixed those. I'm no longer doing push-ups with the burpees, and I'm not getting them in every single day, but I am behaving as if I am. That means I'm adding one a day every day. I do do them, so next week we'll be maxing out at 40, and my class is going to be so happy when they are done. So that challenge is going pretty well, um, as is the no sugar challenge. We're on day 25 of 30 days. First two weeks went really, really well. I was on track. Um, I had a couple of minor slip-ups due to low blood sugars and poor planning on my part. I'm not perfect either. Um, the third week, I had some planned splurges, a dinner party out with some friends, and I had wine and dessert. And then the second day of that weekend family went out to the boathouse and I had wine and dessert again so clearly there was sugar in both and uh, I'm not going to apologize I just had it. Um, I've been writing some fitness content pushing my cat off the next thing I have to show you writing some fitness content for bite size wellness you'll notice in my right sidebar there's a little button for them you can click on it and go to their website um, the woman who's writing it's got lots of great ideas and she's got several other writers and bloggers that are going to be writing little pieces for her and I'll be letting you know the days that I have something there so you can follow it there. Um, what else? I have been working on a sweater. If you don't care about sweaters and knitting, blah blah blah, turn away from the computer for 30 seconds. I'm working on this beautiful top-down tunic. It's a nice cable in the front. It's going to have probably bracelet-like sleeves. It's going to come down past my hips. I want to be able to wear it with skinny jeans or tights. The color is just a gorgeous pinky purple plum. It's 100% merino and the fit is going to be fabulous because when you knit top down you can stop and figure out how it fits best on you. And it changes as you go. Okay, knitting stuff is done if you only care about fitness. Um, a couple of secret projects on the go. I can't tell you about them. That's quite a secret. But I'll be sharing just as soon as I can. And 
icing on the cake for trying to get stuff done this week. Friday is a pro D day again, third week of back to school after Christmas, and I've got three kids at home. So I'm running to try to get as much possible done today and tomorrow, and I'm thinking Friday's going to be a write-off for work. So if it snows, I'm going to take the kids up Seymour to the tube park, and we'll get lots of exercise that way, climbing back up the mountain with those tubes. Till then, have a great day, and I'll see you back next week for Work in Progress Wednesday. I'm going to chat with you once a week. If there's anything you want to talk about, please comment in the link in the box below. Take care. Bye.